So today we are going to talk about the assigned numbers which is section 2.6 in our book okay so before going to dive into the details of the signed numbers and solving the relevant questions we have to see that what is mean by the signed numbers okay so in previous sections we have seen that the unsigned numbers okay if we had the unsigned decimal numbers so those can be represented with the n number of bits where n can have any number so suppose if we have n equal to 3 so it will contain 2 raised power 3 means 8 numbers in binary okay so 3 bits can represent 8 numbers in maximum in the binary numbers which will be from 0 to 7 okay so you can see that all the numbers here are positive which will range from 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 okay and 0 1 1 similarly 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 okay and one 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 so each number here is basically this one is the zero and this one is seven so these are starting from zero and ending up to seven so uh, the question rises here is that what if i want to represent the negative numbers with the same number of bits what would happen here so in order to do so what has happened in the sign numbers is that the leftmost bit or the msb has been assigned to the sign numbers okay so this is the sign number this is again the sign number bit okay so what are these basically so these are the bits used for sign okay so what does it mean by sign so if these are zero so zero means positive and if it is one it means negative okay so uh, in order to do so what has happened here so these bits are used for sign so therefore now if i want to represent different numbers by using these signed values so here this will be zero so all the numbers here with this uh, zero bit at the msb would be the positive numbers while all the ones here will basically denote the negative numbers okay so here what would happen that if we have the n number of bits okay so previously for the unsigned numbers for the unsigned numbers those started from 0 and ranged from 2 raised to power n minus 1 number so this was the range so if it n was 3 so the range was basically this one if this was for n equal to 3 if n was equal to 2 okay if n was equal to 2 what what it was so it was 0 to what that was 0 to 3 if n was 4 that was from 0 to 15 and so on similarly now for the sign numbers what would happen so the question here is that what would happen so now the numbers will range from minus 2 raised to power n n minus 1 up to 2 n minus 1 up to n minus this minus 1 so the range here will be this one so this was the range for the number of bits in the sign numbers or the total number of binary numbers so now if n equal to 2 so according to this formula what would be the range so the range here would be 2 raised to power n minus 1 is this one okay up to 2 2 minus 1 up to 1 so it would be from minus 2 1 up to okay so it would be from minus 2 
to how much that would be from minus 2 to 1 which will also include 0 as well okay so those would be minus 2 minus 1 0 and then 1 for the n equal to 2 similarly if we have the number of bits if the number of bits here are 3 so these will range from minus 2 3 minus 1 2 2 3 minus 1 minus 1 okay so how much would it be it would be minus 2 up to this one so it would be minus 4 and here it would be 3 so the numbers here would be here the numbers will be how much those would be minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 and also 1 2 3 so these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total 8 numbers while here we also have these 4 negative numbers and also four positive numbers as well okay so this formula is also a very important formula which shows you the number of binary numbers with the signed integers okay uh, so with this method we can represent any number by using the signed binary numbers and let us solve some more examples related to this formula uh, which will be helpful for converting any unsigned numbers to the signed numbers so stay tuned